Hi everybody, yes, it's another whiskey mystery. I'm Phil. I'm Deep. And today, actually Bobby. Bob, you've done it again, haven't you? Bobby J coming in with another bottle choice, 190. I think, has anyone else got it twice in a row before? It might just be Bob who got it. So Bob, are you going for three? Are you in? Yes, Bob's in. <laughs> going for three in a row? Maybe. Well, what are we doing? We are blind tasting. And part of blind tasting is the viscometer. And so let's get that started while we chat. Where's my timer? And go. So blind tasting, we are on our journey to blind taste over 300 whiskies. We're up to 190, so we're doing pretty well, but you can still see there are many left on the shelf. The ones on the shelves are ranked in order from best to still very good because many mm. are off the shelf. Do you think 190 is gonna be on the shelf? We taste it the day before, make our notes. What do you think? I like it enough to be put on the shelf. Yesterday's glass, all vanilla. I'm not- quite dirty vanilla. Quite dirty. Not, not very dirty for me. It's more like a vanilla waffle cone, which has been crisped a little bit, but not smoky. It's vanilla ice that puts in it. Freak. Slightly fishy. Slightly fishy vanilla. It's a vanilla waffle cone well, at the seaside. more mushy. It's really more of mm. fast oil. Well, or maybe a jacket oil. See the poor jacket. Rancid oil. That's not very nice. <laughs> Let's pour it and see what we're going to get. Because this is very clear. Or at least it's light in colour, I should say. Big bubbles. It's never clear to us what's actually in the glass though. <laughs> but there's a little bit of colour. But it is more likely to be ex-bourbon than ex-sherry, just based off the colour. Very mm. uh, savoury, but it's... Savoury. But there's a bit of sugar on it. I'm going to pour. Now, we really didn't find any smokiness in this yesterday, but maybe a tiny bit of funkiness, but not very much. Should we do bubbles? A, 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 a dirty, maybe a farm, farmy. A little bit farmy. Let's do bubbles. Now, we know... Those bubbles are pretty big, and big, big bubbles that hang around are higher strength. So let's compare it to 50% ABV. Oh, they are long bubbles, aren't they? For both of them. So it could be, it looks like today's are slightly bigger and going away slightly faster. I've got this gummy Let's do 56. 56%. Maybe a better match at 56 than 50, but a little hard to tell, isn't it? A little hard to tell. So, hmm. If anything, I'm going to guess probably below 56 than above, but pretty close. Hmm, right. That means I'm not going to drink it neat. How's our viscometer going? It's a fresh three. Oh, fresh poured. I did that here as well. Let's see if Deepa notices the viscometer. A vanilla. Uh, okay, savoury porridge with vanilla. Savoury porridge with vanilla? I mean, I mean, Are you watching the viscometer? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Let's see, what are we going to get compared to Russian vodka, which is 40% ABV? There we go, 355. So it is definitely more than Russian vodka, but not that much more. It's about 103 or 104%. So not particularly viscous. I mean, candy. Oh, yeah. There is something, there is the tiniest little bit of cheesiness 
which opens the door to Springbank. But I'm not getting any peat, so. Um, Donna Pass, thank you very much, 355. <laughs> oh, yes. Vanilla waffles and a tiny bit of cheese. And lemon candy. Yes, lemon. Candy. Lemon candy. Lemon grass candy, we said yesterday. Do you think there's any chance that's Springbank? It just doesn't seem like there's enough weirdness going on for a spring bank. So probably going to say no to that idea, although there are a few options. It could be because I'm getting a duck of you Oh, you're getting eucalyptus and I'm getting a little cheesiness. Let's go with water, a lot of water. Let's have a little look at the swirls. It always looks a bit metallic, doesn't it, when you get that, that little oil swirl with the water. Right, timer, come on. <laughs> Shh, been so bad at keeping everything on track the last few weeks, last few years. Hmm, very nice. Oh, a little bit of the pepper coming in now. It's more, it's more lemon than vanilla. To be honest. Ah, for that amount of water, I'm getting a um, touch of smoke, I swear. You think? See, I'm not um, getting smoke. Are you sure it's not that oakiness that you get with old ex-bourbon barrels? It's more of a springbank type. Oh, so you are going springbank. You know, the springbank 21 was extremely mild as well. So you never know. But it has a uh, of uh, uh, watermelon... Watermelon. See, this is where I'm getting the lemon with the water coming in now. So it's a cup of lemon and watermelon. Okay, Ralph's asking about the age. Hmm. I'm not convinced it's an old one, but I'm gonna I'm gonna power up the watery one a little bit. I know people say that you shouldn't add whiskey to water. That way round should be the other way around, but good enough for us. I'm going a little strong. Are you going full strength? Okay. Why don't you have a sip and have a guess at the strength? See see how hot Deepa thinks it is. Oh, pretty high. Very peppery. Very yeah. hot. So 57, 56. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay, more. You got help us. It is quite spicy. The flavours are very mild, although there's a lot of alcohol power. The actual flavours are quite simple, which makes me think it's young, but it could be refill. It could be older refill. It's very, very cooly. Cooling. Yeah, it's, it is. It's Everything is up light, isn't it? Let's get the picture up before I forget. So we've kind of painted it out as being... Um, more lemon with a little bit of the green stems and pepper, but there aren't heavy flavors in this at all. Now, finish. Is it is it long or short? Mm, it's very warm finish. I'm just very you get me all because I'm just getting thick. And mm. see the burn. Put it together. A little bit of eucalyptus licorice oil. The cooling and finish. cooling. We do have an ex bourbon spring bank which is fourteen years old. And the ABV is fifty five point eight. It could be that one. It could be that one. Ah. Donna Pass, what are you saying? Found and bought a dusty red label, Highland Park eighteen this week for a hundred and ten. Oh, not bad. Never had any HB18. Very good. Ralph, I try it with the old Tormor. Uh, oh, oh, I see. You're trying. You think it could it's, be the Tormor? Very peppery. Could it be 30 years old? There's no bitterness. 
So it could be mid east. This is a flavor profile that we like. It reminds me of some of the old malt casks. Not quite as old. Should we go for a comparison? Let's go for a comparison. Here we go. Um, better or worse? It's just there to finish. I have this. Mm. I think that is better. I, I prefer this. It's more depth, deeper, more firm. Yes. So, it's thicker. But not wildly different. I mean, it does make me think it's ex bourbon. Now, this is only 50%, 49.8, but um, 23 years old. I did think that this seemed older. If I go back to this, yeah, yeah, okay. there's my more good on this, but it's not free and free. No, compared to this, but it's really there for an ice bit like it has a little bit of a this sort of licorice pepper finish, which is a little harsh. And it's got sharp, so it's got to be 15 years and 15 watered down a little. All right. What do you think compared to this? This is all we have left of Ben Nevis oh, 18. This was, my favorite. this was a top 10 whiskey at one point. It Again, very weak. A little bit more funky, to be mm. honest. With a sort of a sour lemon yes. cheesiness. This actually seems cleaner. A little bit more igorous. Let's go back again. Does this seem cleaner now? Hmm. It's quite a uh, sharp crisp. It could be. It could be a little funky though. I get more vanilla when I put my nose back in. But that lemon and pepper zest on the taste. That's is really good. Of, uh, lemongrass. Yeah, lemongrass. Okay. One more comparison. Mm. <laughs> this is more comforted, more insulated. Mm. Better or worse? Let me, very peppery. I see. Let me have full strength. I'm wondering if they could Today be similar. It's more uh, interesting. Do you think it's, it's flavor profile? Less flavor profile. Do you think they could be similar? Mm, but this one is more interesting. Well, okay. Local Barley 9. I think there are some overlapping. <laughs> I'm so convinced, trying to convince myself it's Springbank. Um, this one is more messy. This one yes. is more mindy. Now, when I go to the 9, it, there's definitely a lot more of the dirtier. Farmer. I mean, there's more... There's more peat for a start. Yes. Um, more tobacco leaf. Now, there's also a bit of sherry in that, which it makes me again think clean we're clean experts. But the Martin. But there's more going on in it. The, well, that nine, the average day is 15 years. And did you like the Glen Mori better? Mm. So it's not top shelf. I think it is. Um, yeah, probably in here though. Mm. Deanston 18 level. Where else? What else we would compare to? You remember the Cameron Bridge from yeah, last I week? Yeah, 27. Mm. Mm. I'm getting this nice little pear drop thing going on on top now. I like it. I it, do it, like it, it a lot. It's <clears throat> good, but 
is now I'm getting more bitter. This little, I think it's because of comparison. What do you mean? Yeah, maybe. Um, whiskey 101. Oh, I'm now sticking with my guest Springbank local barley Belgravia. Come on, Phil, let's make it a Springbank. <laughs> you know, I did think it could yeah. be. We do have two local barleys in. I thought, is it possible it's the the 11 year, which is all ex bourbon, bear. bear barley, but I don't think it's that grassy. Let's bring up the spreadsheet. Um, it is high ABV, but how high? Who knows? I don't think it's, it's not in the sixes. Let's have a quick look. Five. Okay. It's definitely a five. <laughs> Could it be Colila unpeated? Linkwood, Blair, Athol. Uh, you know, it could be a young SMWS. You never know. Not the Mort like, that's Sherry. I'm looking for things that aren't Sherry. This Glen Scotia is ex bourbon, but I don't think so. There's the one local barley. Ockintosh and Valinch, you never know. Signatory, that's quite old. I think that's dark. Uh, it's another Ben Nevis. I know we have one Ben Nevis, which is ex bourbon in this mix. A little milt or more. There's the other Ben Nevis. Spring Night Bourbon. Um, oh, I don't think. Oh, you know, it could be this Aaron as well. What else could it be? You know, in terms of the printout ones, we have got several young SMWS, a Glen Lossy eight year, a Glen Elgin. There's the Colila and the Linkwood. I'm still leaning Springbank. Let's go to Springbanks. Oh, you know, just based on color, because there's no box. This is an Aaron private cask, but it's quite old. I think this is uh 20 something years old or is it 15? it is the, uh, no sherry and if no sherry no purely ex bourbon there's an ex bourbon ben nevis there's the no if the, not ben nevis the blair athol maybe we, we even have a couple of bunners which are ex bourbon like as well Glen Scotia. Any chance it's the Ockintosh? But there are no flower. Didn't get the floweriness. No. Is there some whiskey left? Let me try it. Okay, time to decide. Uh, I go for this. Ha, ah, time's up. Even cheating time. I go for. I was trying to decide is there anything Brookladdy about that? It's uh, some, that's a farming, farming, farming. It's not but impossible. Very subtle. I don't think it's as high as 59.6%, which is going to rule out the Blair Athol. Let's see. This is only 50% for the Ben Nevis, and I think it's higher than but that. Easy, so you can have your eye, Okay, 52.6. Um, 55. 55.8. Fifty-three. I don't think it's the local barley. I, I am tempted here as well. Because it's the mildest of Springbank funk, if it is there at all, and so we could easily be wrong. And I, but it's about an aspect of that. Mini that of flavor, flavor very adventurous, very adventurous. So I like it, and we're saying it's over here somewhere. Really, is it anything spring banky like this? No, Nine, but that's it's, very different because I share in it. I know, I know, but in terms of the funky scale, if that's a scale of 100, this is only a scale of 10. Mm. Or sorry, this, right. Might regret what this. Is, I'm going to go. Why? Why are you going for this many years? 
20 years and I'm presuming an inactive cask. Right. I'm going to go for this. You're going to stick mm. with the spring bank. Here we go. Let's see. Let's go over to the chat. Greg, I don't know what you were saying. I've just cleared your comment. Let's see what people think. Such a shame, Ockintosh and Bottles, almost everything at 40%. We want freedom, not the one that we have here. This is the Valinch, by the way, at uh, its cask strength, 57.2. And we had a little sample of it, and I loved but it enough to go and buy a bottle. <laughs> no, this is a very unusual Ockintosh. Ben Nevis is dirtier, oilier. Yeah, could be. Let's see, who else is guessing? Bob, you're going for the... Oh, you're going for the Brook Laddie. Okay, which one? which one? There's a 15 year or a 19 year. Gigi, the Little Mill. That's right, we do have a Little Mill. I can see the box over there. Uh, any other guesses? I think everyone's just chatting. I'd have to scroll up to see more guesses. So, yes, I know, Phil. That is the rare one. That is not, yes. Have you tried it? We want freedom. Because uh, it's been more funny now. It's making it much funny now. Right, I'll go back to my spring bank. What's the picture look like? One last look at the picture. Here you go, Bob. Um, but well, I have more flavour than this. So, okay. I no, well. no. Too late. You've given it up. Okay. Okay. You can do whatever you want. Let's just, let's put all three up. And this is where I'm going. I, 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 I think it's the second preference, the first preference. Right. So put it away. Are you ready for yes. the reveal? Here we go. Just leave them there because we might have to default. Now, um, ABV. I thought it was below 55. I think it's 56. 53. Oh, yeah. Well. So it's not that. It's a 21 year old. It cost us $164. That's not that. Okay, hang on. What's 21? I'm looking for an old malt cask. 19, 19, 19. Ben Nevis. Hang on, I don't think we've got it up here. I don't miss it. I don't, unless it's, well, it's a space side. <laughs> space side. Oh, it's the Glen Tockers. You said yesterday, Glen Tockers. It is here. <laughs> well, it's kind of here. Is that it? Hang on, I didn't even rip the label off. Yes, it's the Glen Talkers archives. We don't have any of the old Glen Talkers left to try, which was our favourite. I don't think this is purely ex bourbon though. Um, I think we get the bomb for that. Um, let's have a look. Let's see, what have we got? So Archives is the independent bottler from Whiskey Base, I think. Is that right? Single cask, 53.3%. So at least we got that uh, right. I'm looking to see how many, how many were in the barrel. What else is on here? Does it say what type of barrel it is? It just says single cask. Normally you would have a bottle count, you know. How, oh, it is on the back. Okay. Let's see if we can get it. Get it there. Right. Only 170. A refill barrel. This has got to be a refill ex bourbon if they only got 170 bottles out of it. Uh, because if it was a sherry cask, you'd expect over 300, 400 even. Well, so it's expert in people sharing barrel, if that's what you mean. No, they only got 170 bottles, so it must be a refill ex bourbon. That's a total no sherry in food. I don't think so. It could always be a hogshead which has had sherry in, but 
I'm I'm not any more funny now anyway. It's a funny now. I think it's ex bourbon. Um, it's definitely not as good as the old particular. I think it was that we had. It's not fully included. That's why I thought I mean it. But it's when you buy years. Twenty-one years. But so, it's, it's not fully included. It's not my part. It's not integrated. Well, I think because it's a refill barrel. I think I said this earlier. It could be younger, or it could just be a refill barrel mm. that's not very active. And I think that's what we've got. Um, I mean, it's good. We are putting it's it. Good. I mean, we are putting it up. I've just realised, Bob. Are you wanting to get a sample of the one you picked? Oh. That's right. We've still got some. We've still got some here. I think between me, Bob, you have to pick this one. Well, he picked it last week. Really? Last week. But that last the week. Please, stop the S, stop the S, stop the S. I know what Deep is thinking, and I can't get her mind off what she's thinking. I knew, Bob, but he didn't pick it today. He picked it last I time. Knew, but there was something else that was the last week. Yes, he's picked two in a row. Oh, okay, pa. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The other one was, um, what was it, Bob? What was that? What was last episode? Forgotten. Oh, it was the um, Royal Brackler. Yes, that's what I remember about you. I think between all of the bits we got left, Bob, we can still rustle up your 65 mil sample. Let's go to the chat and see so, what people again, think. I've done more. No, not yet. <laughs> Deepa wants to drink your, your whiskey, Bob. Donna Pass, refill barrel usually means bourbon cask. Yeah, because they often will say refill but, won't they, when it's, um, when it's sherry. Okay, let's have a look down the chat. Gigi. Oh, but are you? I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Just got in. What are we drinking, Anoush? Glen Talkers, it turns out. Uh, let's see. Lucas, did you guess it? Oh, no. Oh, oh, no hat trick today, Bob. What is a trick? No hat trick, meaning no three in a row. Uh, I'm looking to see if anyone else got it. Wouldn't have guessed it without the ABV though. Oh, I see. You were a post. Did anyone get it early on? I'm a new first this soccer. But Let's see. I'm miles away from that Glen Talkers. Normally has lots of cereal and butter for me, especially at that age. Yeah, it's not. Mm. You know, because I remember the other Glen Talkers. Mm, we really so, liked. So so so. But it had all those nice pineapple I tropical apple, notes. But not this, today. I did not get any but apple. Yeah. But I got. Of course, watermelon, lemon. Watermelon and lemon. Where is it on the shelf, Anuj? I think we're going up here with the Deanston 18. Somewhere. Uh, I'm about better than, I'm 27, it's better. Hey, Clay's in. <laughs> Clay just subscribed. How you doing, Clay? Mm -hmm. Bet you didn't realise your name was going to pop up. Clay is an old friend from Disney. But it's 27, it's better. 27? Well, it's in there somewhere. <laughs> right. It was third on my list. Ah, oh, no winner. Cool bottle number, 007. No, 0077. Greg's Whiskey Guide. Nice affordable range, those Belgian archives. Yeah, they've been good. I see them in k and L. I don't think anyone got... So we're going for group pick. All right, group pick everyone. Top shelf, bottom shelf, deeper side, fill side in the middle. Uh, oh, you have an art more from archives. I think this is the only one we have from archives. Do we have art more from the same company? Uh, no, I don't think so. Tim is saying KNL seems to have them. Yeah, KNL does tend to stock them. That's a local store for us. Oh, the ABV was off on the spreadsheet, was it? Oh no, what have I done? Glen Talkers are... Oh, yeah, I've got 51.5 on the spreadsheet. Bad accountant. <laughs> Bobby J, you let us all down. <laughs> David Fitch subscribed as well. Thanks, guys. Have some fireworks for subscribing. Here you go, Clay. Some fireworks for you as well. 
Netherlands. Oh, it's but Netherlands. Sort. It's not. It's not Belgian. Whatever. Okay. 170. That's just one cask. You're right, and it's a small cask at 170. No one got it. Right. Refill barrel. Oh yeah, we got that one earlier. What else are people saying? Phil's t-shirt makes me woozy. Oh, yeah, that's right. It is a little. Oh. Uh, it is a little like the the three lines. This is um. Fort, Fort, William. Fort William Marathon. Can you believe we ran Fort William Marathon? the home of Ben Nevis, and we weren't interested in whiskey at the time and didn't go and visit. Although we did get a Ben Nevis sample at the finish line, so we did drink that. <laughs> I think I got a sample of that earlier, Anoush. That's why there's nothing left, because we sampled out that bottle a lot earlier on before Deepa told me to stop. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Clay, saying hello. Hi. <laughs> right. Uh, group pick. Whiskey 101 is starting it off. It's going to be deeper side. Uh, I'm looking down to see who at top shelf, deeper side. Gigi saying in the middle. That's good enough. Whoops. I'm kicking over bottles of Aaron here. Let's go. Top shelf, in the middle, on your side. Somewhere in there. Donna Pass, don't you have some bottles other than Glen Talkers at your parents' house? Yes, Tim, you are right. You know more about our stash than most people. That original Glen Talkers that we liked, I did oh. buy some more in the UK and they've been camped at my parents' house, annoying them, I should add. But we are going to in December. Hopefully, December, we're going to go and visit, but they've been there for two years, pretty much. Lucas, okay, so the pick, oh yeah, we got the, okay, we got the pick, let's go. One, what number are we up to? 191. Group pick. Now, is it a bourbon? <laughs> Still three bourbons lurking in the list. Here we go. What are we going to get for Thursday? It is unlikely to be a bourbon. Not really dark enough. It is a pretty dusty one. Ralph, let's have a look. Can you see? Can you see a bit of dust there? A bit of dust. They're all a bit dusty. It's not super dusty though. To be honest, it looks like it could be one of the newer ones added. Um, Bobby J is saying hello to Clay. <laughs> Are those lines on your shirt the elevation changes you had to run? Yes, Tim. It is the elevation map and the finish was <gasps> the finish was hideous. <laughs> it was like five miles uphill to finish. Come on, make it a bourbon. Mm. Everyone's shouting bourbon. Is it sherry? Colour looks like it could be sherry. Deeper smiling about something. Oh, I see. Because it's peaty. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, you like it? How strong is it? Well, I like it. <laughs> Pretty strong. No. Well, compared to today's, right. We will be back Thursday. on Thursday to find out what is... Um, 191. Thanks, Bob, for for picking today's. And uh, but I might even do some more of today. You can't have any more. Not until Bob says if he wants it or not. <laughs> okay, here we go. Thanks everyone for watching. Oh, a lot of smoke in that one. Hey, hey, put that down. Bob might want some. But I can have Bobby's. That I have the new one. <laughs> All right, that's it. See you in a few days. And it's not hot over here, Tim, you were asking earlier. Luckily, we are in a little bit of cloud today, but everyone else in California is baking. Do you want pizza? Yes. <laughs> oh, this. Bye.